Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to root your Android phone without using the fastboot mode. We will only use the fastboot D mode to get this job done. So recently, OnePlus released an OTA update for the OnePlus 10 Pro and OnePlus 11 and after installing th those OTA updates, users were not able to access the fastboot mode on their phone as a result of which they were unable to flash any files on their phone. So while most of them had the bootloader already unlocked, but still that was of no use because they were unable to boot their phone to fastboot mode and they cannot flash any file or even obtain root. So as far as rooting is concerned, you could even root your phone even if you don't have the fastboot mode. And in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. So before starting, let's just keep a couple of points in mind. I have only done the testing on those phones which uses the boot IMG file for rooting. These are the phones which were launched with Android 12 or older version out of the box. In case your Android phone came with Android 13 or higher version, then in that case, you have to use the init boot IMG file. And in that case, I haven't done a testing yet, but I've still given the steps for that as well. If you want, you may try out. As of now, I've only done the testing on OnePlus phones, which were launched with Android 12 and older version. Moreover, it goes without saying that the boot order on your phone should be unlocked beforehand. So the users who were facing this issue had their boot order already unlocked, but still they were unable to access the fastboot mode. So in this case as well, the boot order on your phone should be unlocked beforehand. If that's well and good, then let's get started. As of now, since you cannot access the fastboot mode, so you will not be able to unlock the boot order. And for those users, this video will not work. It will only work for those users who have unlocked the boot order beforehand. And with that in mind, please take a backup of all the data on your phone. And then let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from this guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these other files or platform tools. Once that is done, you will now have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So go to the settings menu. From there, you have to go to about device, then go to version and tap on build number seven times or rather the version number seven times, you will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back again, go back, go to additional settings and select developer option and now enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone and your PC as well. So if you get a prompt, make sure to tap on OK and you might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow. Likewise, change the file transfer mode to file transfer from charging only. And with this, debugging is now enabled. So let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform tool folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to download the same firmware which is currently installed onto your phone. So you could download it from the official OnePlus site from trusted third party site like XDA or using the Oxygen Updater app. As of now, I'm using this app. And currently I am on the version number. You could verify the version from by going to the about device section and then go to either Oxygen OS and verify the version from here. It's 14.00211. Or you could also go to the version section and verify from there. So make sure to download the same version which is currently installed onto your phone. In my case, the same version was there in the Oxygen Updater app as well. As you could see, it's the same version. So I already have this app onto my phone or rather I have already done the download. So once you have got the download file, you will have to extract it. By default, the file will look something in a jumbled way. Let me show you that as well. So just a minute. Let me show you on my phone. Once you download the firmware, it will be shown something like this. As you could see, this is the file name and this is the latest and the same firmware which is currently installed onto my phone. So once you have got hold of the firmware, let's now transfer the firmware onto our PC. 
so that we could extract it so i might already be having this firmware file let me just verify it once so this is the firmware file and as you can see the file name is jumbled that's not a cause of concern simply extract it onto your pc once you have done the extraction you will get a couple of file including the payload.bin file we will now have to extract this bin file to get hold of the boot img or the init boot img file so for extracting the bin file you will have to download and extract the and you will now have to use the fastboot enhance tool i have made a separate guide and a video on the same you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done so there are quite a few ways of doing so but the best method is using the fastboot enhance tool so simply use this tool and download the tool from here and let me show you so download the tool from the github link once you have got the tool simply extract it onto your pc you could extract them anywhere you want in my case i've done the extraction let me show you and these are the files of platform tools once you have done the extraction you will now have to copy the payload bin file from the firmware and paste it inside the password enhance folder once you have done so let's now extract the payload bin file from the password enhance folder so let me do that as well just a minute it will take a few seconds so let's launch the password enhance file tool using the exe file now go to the payload dumper tab click on browse and select the payload.bin file and click on open it will now load the firmware so go to the partition tab and select the boot image or the init boot depending on your phone if your phone came with android 12 or older version you will have to use the boot image such as the oneplus 8 9 or 10 series on the other hand if your phone came with android 13 or higher version then you will have to use the init boot image such as for the oneplus open or oneplus 11 series as of now i'm using the oneplus 9 series oneplus 9 pro so i'll use the boot image file so this is the file once you have made the selection also check mark allow incremental and then hit the extract image button choose a location so let's use desktop and click ok so with this we have got the boot image file in your case it will be either boot or the init boot once you have done the extraction you will now have to transfer the file to the platform to folder on your pc so copy the file from here and let's transfer it here or do one thing you will have to transfer this file onto your phone so directly do the transfer of the stock boot img file onto your phone itself so we this we have done the transfer i'm again repeating is from the same firmware which is currently installed onto our phone so please keep this point in mind and we have done the extraction using the file boot enhance tool once you have done the extraction and place the file here you will also have to download the magis file so for magis you could again refer to my guide i have made a separate guide and a video on the same you could go to my guide and download the magis zip file from here the 26.4 is the latest build at the time of recording so get it from here and it's the official chain log you could also verify the same so download the magis apk file from here and then transfer the file onto your phone as well so this is the magis apk file and this is the boot img file which we have got so as of now we have both the files onto our phone so now let's move over to our phone and move ahead with the next step so now you will have to patch the boot or the init boot file via magis so for that you will have to install the magis apk file onto your phone so let me do that as well so first off install the magis apk it will take only a few seconds tap on open then tap on allow then hit the install button next to magis and select and patch a file now choose the stock boot or the init boot file depending on your phone and then tap on let's go magis will now patch the file and place it in the downloads folder on your phone it will take only around 8 to 10 seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll move ahead with the next step so as you could see the file has been placed in the downloads folder so let's access that folder from our pc itself so let me go to my phone and this is the download folder and this is the magis patch file so copy the magis patch file from here and paste it inside the platform to folder on your pc so paste the file here inside the platform tool folder it will take only a few seconds so let's just wait and for the ease of convenience let's rename it to something shorter so let's rename it to magis patch boot and the complete name becomes mpb.img i am just using the short name so that it becomes easier to type in the cmd window so it's the mpb.img 
So with this, we have got the file and let's now move ahead with the next step. So now, instead of booting your phone to the fast boot mode, we will have to boot your phone to the fast boot D mode. So for booting to the fast boot D mode, all you have to do is simply use the command ADB, reboot, fast boot, and hit enter. And your phone should now boot into the fast boot D mode. Do keep in mind that while booting to the fast boot mode, we use the ADB reboot bootloader command. But since we are booting to the fast boot D mode, we will have to use the fast boot keyboard over here. And your phone will now boot into the fast boot D mode in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame. And then we will have to select the language. So it could take a little bit longer if you are accessing the fast boot D mode as opposed to the fast boot mode. So first off, choose the language. Let's select English. And with this, we are now in the fast boot D mode. Now, before moving ahead, type in fast boot devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then you will have to install fast boot drivers on your PC. For that, I made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done. Once you have installed the drivers, use the Windows X shortcut keys or right click on the star icon and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure that your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signifies that the PC is able to read the phone in fastboot D mode and we are now good to go ahead. So next up, we could now simply flash the magic patch file onto your phone. Do keep in mind that in fastboot D mode, you cannot use the fastboot boot command. You, you could only use the flash command. Now, depending on your phone, whether you have used the boot file or the init boot file, you will have to use the command accordingly. In my case, I have used the boot partition. So this is be, will be our command. But if your phone came with Android 13 or higher version, then you will have to use the init boot partition and flash the patch init boot file. So in my case, it's the boot partition and the boot file. So simply copy the command which correspond to your phone, either this or this, and then paste the command here and hit enter. Okay, just a minute. In my case, I have renamed the file to MPB. So let me rename the command accordingly. So it's mpb.img, just a minute. So just verify that the name of the file is correct. And likewise, the file should be there inside the platform to folder on your PC. If that's well and good, simply hit enter and it will now flash the patch file onto your phone and your phone will then automatically go to the OS which will be rooted via Magisk. So just make sure that you use the correct file. If you're using the init boot, then you will have to use the patch init boot file and flash it to the init boot partition. As you could see from here, on the other hand, if you're using the boot file, then you will have to use the patch boot file and flash it in the boot partition. Once the flashing is done, you could no now simply boot your phone to the OS. For that, either use the fast boot reboot command or use the hardware key combination to boot to the OS and your phone will now boot with the Magisk app automatically installed as well. It will be there on your phone as well. Apart from that, you will have obtained root as well directly from the fast boot D mode. So let me show you that and then we will discuss a few important points. Do keep in mind that in rare cases, the boot up might take up some additional time frame. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. Anyways, let's just wait for a few more seconds and our phone has now booted to the OS. And let's now check out the result. So let me, this is the Magisk app. Let's launch it. And the first boot up of Magisk will take up some time around 10 to 14 seconds. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's wait for a few more seconds. From subsequent time, the Magisk app will not take that much longer as you could see. We have now obtained root and our phone is now rooted by a fastboot D method. Likewise, you could verify the same from an app known as root checker. Let me show you that as well. As you could see, we have got the super user request and our phone is now rooted by a magisk. So this is the super user request of the root checker app. So guys, these were the methods or the steps to root your phone using the fastboot D method. So guys, on that note, I round up this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.